Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, um, November the 7th. My, the year is racing to the end. Jeremiah 46, 47, 48. That's our Old Testament reading for today. The weeping prophet. And in our New Testament reading today, we have the um, book of Hebrews 4. And Hebrews 4, 9 through 12 uh, states this. There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God. Who are the people of God? That's saved people. A rest to the people of God. For he that is entered into his rest, saved people, he also has ceased from his own works, as God, as God did from his. Now the seventh day Sabbath was a picture of the rest of God. And um, we remember that heavens and earth were created in, in six days, literal days, morning and evening. And then he rested on the seventh day. And so he has a rest he, he has for us now while we're working here on this earth. And then the rest of heaven, that second part of it. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man shall, <clears throat> any man fall after the same example of unbelief. What was the example of unbelief? Uh, God's people, the children of Israel, they uh, they were delivered from Egypt. They were out in the out in the wilderness. They were supplied with all their needs, and yet they did not enter into His rest because of unbelief. Unbelief is a terrible thing. I, I hope that that you've believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and that you've been saved. Oh, yeah. You you must be born again. I was telling someone again. Yeah, I tell someone every day about that. But many people hold back, and they, they do not rest in the finished work of Christ, not of works of righteousness, which we have done, but by his grace uh, he saved us. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not that of yourself, it is a gift of God. Yes. Now verse 11, it says, Let us labor therefore to enter into the rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. And then verse 12, For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and in and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Wow, what a what a verse, this verse 12, Hebrews 4, 12. The word of God is quick and powerful, cuts down between the soul and the spirit, the bones and the marrow, that inside of the bone that that replenishes our blood and is, is our life. Uh, that's that's what it that's the word of God. And, oh, learn to trust in the Word. Love the Bible. Love Jesus. And uh, God will bless you. What wonderful scripture. Meditate upon it today. Hebrews 4, uh, 8 through 12. Pray for us as we go into our fall season and Thanksgiving and Christmas and ministering to many people and plans for our renovation and discipleship program. Let us rest in God, rest in him today, and look for that rest in the future of eternal life where we'll be forever and ever with him. God bless you. Continue to pray for the mission and, and give uh, as you're able. Have a wonderful day in the Lord.